All right, folks, and uh, this edition of Nevada's Legends, Mysteries, and History, we're in beautiful Hawthorne, Nevada. This is the old Rawhide Jail building here. Uh, it was built in the town of Rawhide, which doesn't exist anymore. Rawhide Jail building was originally constructed in 1908 in the town of Rawhide. 1907-1910, Rawhide hosted a population of 7,000 miners and their families. Very cool. I was brought here to Hawthorne from Rawhide, the old jail building, the old jailhouse. They saved it from certain doom. And then here is the modern day Mineral County Courthouse. Let's see if we can find the old abandoned courthouse. How's it going, everybody? This is Demo and Zoner. And today we are in Hawthorne, Hawthorne, Nevada, Mineral County, doing uh, histories, mysteries, and legends. And legends. And what you see behind me, or actually on my right hand side here, is the old county courthouse for, uh, for Hawthorne, for uh, Mineral County. And just give you a little, little brief, little brief history. Uh, July 1st, 1883, county seat. This was the county seat of Esmeralda County. Moved from Aurora to Hawthorne. Uh, the courthouse was built for $29,125 $29, $29, dollars in 1883. Um, there was a corruption and collusion between the contractor George Babcock and the political officials revealed that a grand jury wrongdoings in February of 1884. The courthouse uh, was opened and continued as the county until 19, May of 1907, where the county seat was moved to Goldfield. In February 1911, Esmeralda County was split and Mineral County was formed. And this served as the courthouse until 1973. 73, that's the year I started pre-K. Yeah. Yeah, pretty Interesting little place. Oh yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, uh, right into that cone, that artillery shell. Should be the plaque that dedicates it for uh, national natural, national historic places, national register. Yeah, that's it. And you can tell they take good care of it. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, ready for use. You can ready move right in. It's a fixer-upper, folks. It's a fixer-upper. It's cool as hell, though. Yeah. Well, shall we continue, sir? Yep, I say we do it. Beautiful Hawthorne, Nevada? <coughs> Why not? Why not? All right, here we go, folks. We got the backside. This was with the old jail here. The courthouse, the old Mineral County Courthouse. And here was the overflow cell. For the drunks and whatnots, he would just chain them up in there. But well, you gotta think this was a this was a military town, so if the MPs couldn't get a hold of you, this little jail can only hold so much. Oh yeah, and you got hundreds, if not thousands, of military personnel working at the Hawthorne Ammunition Depot. Being, being partiers. And we all know how that can go. So, very cool. All right, we are still in beautiful Hawthorne, Nevada, and here's the old historic Sixth Street School. The site has held the school since 1886, six, after, six years after the founding of the town. First two-room wood-framed educational building schoolhouse served for 50 years until replaced by this Art Deco building, which was dedicated on February 12, 1936. Very interesting. Very interesting. Hawthorne used to have, God, I don't know how many people. We used to march in parades down here when I was in the Marine Corps back in the late 80s, early 90s. What a trip. All right, folks, here we are on beautiful Walker Lake. Right outside of Hawthorne, Nevada. Hawthorne's just straight across the lake off in the distance. We got some smoke coming in from California. So you can't really see it, but this is... One of the two last vestiges here in Nevada of ancient Lake Lahontan. This here, Walker Lake. 
in Pyramid Lake up north on, outside of Reno, Mineral County, down near Hawthorne. About as early as maps show Walker Lake. Jedediah Smith, the first English speaking American, what is modern day Nevada, passed near here in 1823 during his remarkable trip across the Great Basin. Peter Skeen Ogden traveled through the region in 1829, and then John Fremont arrived in 1845 with Joseph Walker, for who the name is laked. <laughs> Excuse me, for who the lake is named. People don't even fish down here anymore. The saline levels have gotten so high, they can't keep the trout alive anymore. So there's the boat launch. Well, what used to be the boat launch. As you can see, the water levels used to be 100 years ago were right at, almost up to where the road is up there, 95. But yeah, up in these mountains, we used to look up with our binoculars and see herds of bighorn sheep up there, rutting and fighting up in them hilltops. Yeah, great fishing, but it's dying. Water's being... Uh, siphoned off for other reasons and so our great lake walker lake is indeed dying all right folks and here we can clearly see walker lakes water level in 1949 was right here where i'm standing and there's the lake today so yes, since 1949, it has dropped significantly. What's up, everybody? This is Demo and... Zahner. Got it right that time. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, but we're going to give you a panoramic view here of uh, Hawthorne. They call it HWAD, Hawthorne uh, Weapons Ammunition, Army Ammunition Depot. It's the largest ammo depot in the world. It was basically, they created this in 1930. The Navy, the Navy purchased the property in uh, 1930, September of 30. It's 226 square miles of uh, storage. And the, the reason they created this was Lake, was it Lake Denmark? 1926, New Jersey? I believe so. Killed 21 yeah. people, yeah, caused a billion dollars in today's money. Yeah, Lake Denmark, New Jersey, 1926. If you want to do some really good research or reading, uh, they had a massive ma massive explosion, killed a lot of people, did a lot of damage. So they just Congress decided Nevada has a lot of wasteland, open land. There it is. So if we can put ammunition, we can store everything out here, and if one blows up, it's not going to do a chain reaction. And that's why you see the, the bunkers out there, the igloos, they're offset in the caddy corner. And so if one does go off, it won't do a chain reaction. That's why it's... You just blow everything up. Yeah. yeah. The Navy had this up until about 1977 when the Army took it over in the 1980s. And basically the Army pulled all their troops out, for what little garrison they had. Now it's uh, just civilian contractors that work out there. Yep. And uh, let's see that the first clump of trees you see right here, that's that's actual main base. The far distance, the clump of trees, that's the town of Hawthorne. <clears throat> and of course, the road that we're on right here, it's uh, Rose Creek, and you can't get you can't get past it because it says right there, U.S. Army property, no trespassing. You are allowed to come up here. You have to stop at the main gate and basically sign the key out. And you can go up to Rose Creek Reservoir and do some uh, fishing. They have some pretty good size uh, rainbows up there. German browns and rainbows. Nice. Uh, Nevada Department of Fish and Game, Wildlife, they they actually stock that that, that uh, pond up there. So. You have to go check out, get some browns. Yeah. Like I said, you just got to go to the main main base, to the gate, and sign the key out. And then and you come up here and catch rainbows and browns. Yeah, you don't have to be a, a depot employee, state employee. You would be average Joe Blow. Yep. Yes. Yeah, it's been a pretty good adventure. Yeah. 
And all these hills are just loaded with minerals. Oh, are they ever? I mean, you can, you can if you if you shoot off towards the the sunlight right over there, where the the brown hill is. Way off in the background. Yeah, yeah that's uh, they'll take you to Tonopah if you go that way. Get down to there. Yeah, that's 95. It wraps around, and I said you have kyanite, you have fossils, you have turquoise. You name it. It's out there. Yeah, gold, uh, Palmico is a little ghost town right out at the base of those hills. You got Nevada black plum, obsidian. I mean, this this place is loaded. Oh yeah, it's it's, uh, a, it's a rock hounder's dream. Rock hounder's dream. Yeah. Well, it's time for us to move on now. Yep. We're gonna move on and uh, find something cold to drink. What do you say? Works for me. All right. Well, I suppose on that note, I don't have any adus. I got no adus neither. So. So, with that being said, this has been Demo and Zoner saying, Don't let your meat loaf. Thanks, Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.